So far, the Hotham Trophy Tour has taken us down to Tasmania and up to Swan Hill to revisit some of the winners of this coveted prize. So today, why are we at Swetnam Stud? Well, this year, we're doing something a little bit different. Baby. The highest finishing mare of this year's Hotham will get a hot date with 2010 Melbourne Cup winner, Americaine. So Americaine was an import, so uh, Jerry Ryan and, and Kevin and Colleen Bamford imported him to come and race in the Melbourne Cup, which he won. Uh, he won that in 2010 before retiring to stud. They're worth tens of millions of dollars as colts to go to stud. Service fee is enormous when they're getting to, to a Group 1 win. Americaine can cover up to five mares a day, so he could do a 6am, 11am, 4pm, 9pm, 2am. Uh, he's a very, very fertile horse, so he gets most of them in foal. There's very little trouble with our stallions or, or any stallions that we've come across getting them to breed. They quite enjoy their job. Uh, it's usually a relatively quick process. Uh, with the mare, when she's ready to go, it usually takes sort of between 30 seconds and a minute. There's not a lot of romance in there, but uh, it uh, gets the job done. Would you say Americaine is the luckiest male in the world? I would say the stallion's job is one of the best jobs in the world. Well, there you have it. Friday the 11th of October in Ballarat, the Battlers will be racing for some big, big prize money. And the Mares, well, they'll be racing for something else pretty big as well.